So in this part of the conversation, I want to talk about exercise, nutrition, fasting, lifestyle, sleep, environmental factors. And the first question is, why does muscle matter as a woman in particular? Muscle matters because it helps your brain produce more neurons. And that's super important for brain health. But as far as protection as we age, it's directly correlative to the amount of muscle that we have. And if you have something like PCOS or endometriosis, it's even more important for you because building muscle is going to fight insulin resistance and inflammation. I've got two questions to add. Should women exercise differently across the menstrual cycle? And what is the reason why women hear what you guys say and they don't do it? I'm so glad we're having this conversation. Because for women, forever it was all about aesthetics. I'm healthy, I'm thin. Because they are under the assumption through sociocultural ideas that a woman is coming to the gym to lose weight, not to get strong, not to gain muscle. But what we've ended up with is an epidemic of osteoporosis and frailty and really dementia. Where 40 to 50% of women will have low bone density, 70% of all hip fractures happen in women. And when you have that, 30% of the time, you have a chance of dying in one year. Because most of it is based on male data. And I see a lot large number of women trying their hardest to be healthy, but what they are choosing to do is actually having a negative impact on their hormonal health. And it's not your fault. And this is where we have to educate. And it starts now. Which brings me to questions from the audience, like what's the best and healthiest way to lose weight? Is there a diet for fertility? Should women fast? Is there a link between environmental toxins and early menopause? We think so. But also, if you were to design perfect workout regimes for menopause and perimenopause, what would you... Oh, yeah, Stacey's clapping. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead.